France bans two Palestine solidarity groups. On February 24th, Gerard Darmanin, France's Minister of the Interior, tweeted that he would disband two Palestinian advocacy groups, Collectif Palestine uh, Van Kra, or Palestine Will Win, and Comité Palestine Action, uh, or Palestine Action Committee. The decision was made after Emmanuel Macron, the French president, ordered Darmanin to dismantle the groups for allegedly promoting hatred against the nation of Israel. Darmanin said that Collectif uh, Palestine Van Kra was accused of being connected to the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine, a group outlawed in Israel. And I believe uh, it's also recognized as a terrorist organization across the EU. Uh, Comité Palestine or Palestine Action claims that they aim towards, quote, the realization of the national rights of the Palestinian people. The French government, however, accused them of allegedly, quote, relaying statements from Hamas and Islamic Jihad in Palestine and Hezbollah in reporting on their actions. Tom Martin, a spokesperson uh, for Collectif Palestine Van Kra, condemned Darmanin's decision and stated, quote, we condemn this announcement in the strongest terms and are preparing a legal and political response. Okay, I think if you have an opinion about this, if anybody has an automatic opinion about this without knowing the details, then you're not, then you're being irresponsible right like i can't tell if this was like are these like anti-semitic groups or not so you know what i mean like i don't know so but that's where part of this comes from because france does have very particular laws against anti-semitism um so for the group that they say are relaying messages from hamas in the islamic jihad um the way that I've understood how it's been written about in English, okay, is the way I interpreted it is that they share like these statements that Hamas and the Islamic Jihad and um, Hezbollah make. And those statements, I don't know if you've read a statement from these groups, but they definitely contain a lot of incitement to violence. Um, is so, there an example of what they, what they said? I, I don't like able- how they... I don't like how they phrased it. They said like, oh, these groups are anti-Israel. I mean, okay. Like that's a nation state. You could you get to be well, that should promoting be allowed. hatred of Israel. What does that mean? What can you give is there any examples of what they did? Like or they I I mean I can't make I d I don't know what side I'm um, I am on until I know like okay, so, promote hatred. Part of this yes. comes after we've been talking over the past two years about how France has been putting down different laws to prevent, quote unquote, Islamic separatism in their country. And so part of this um, in, entails um, cutting off the ability for certain groups that may receive funding or have ties to for, or foreign organizations from being allowed to operate in the country. So, for example, okay. they say That's that... Somebody- that's not well, what this one of is these about, groups no. is, is accused of having ties with a group that is considered by many to be a terrorist organization, the PFL. Okay, but that's not what they're saying. Okay, like hatred against Israel. That could, if if you're saying something as bad as I don't know, which I'm not gonna say something about I don't know Israel not existing. I'm not gonna say it because YouTube thinks I'm saying it if I say it, which I'm not. Okay, then okay, that's a you should like yeah. Okay, that should be illegal, right? Um, you're inciting violence or whatever, right? But if you're saying like, oh yeah, boycott Israel. I mean, I don't support boycotting Israel, right? But I think you should be able to support boycotting Israel. I mean, if you're like, if you're defending the boycott of Israel, is that considered like, is that? I mean, the umbrella of promoting hatred towards Israel is like not defined very well well okay it could be as bad as what i just said or or as just like as not um violent as like oh yeah we're gonna boycott israel in fact even though i'm against boycotting israel i think people who do this kind of activism you should encourage them because it's an alternative to violence forms of violent form of activism right 
So I don't know what they're like, what they're being accused of. Um, you will, who is it? Well, okay, I think I should clarify that like the promoting hatred of Israel is just one aspect of this. Like what they're also the point, the, the other aspects are, they're saying that they have ties to groups that are, you know, highly inflammatory mm. or direct ties to groups that are recognized by states as terrorist groups. All right, again, this ties also, we can't make a judgment until we know what that means, okay? Because I'm pretty sure we all have ties. Like everybody is, there's a six degrees of separation between every two individuals on the planet, right? Like I'm pretty sure like, guys, I'm pretty sure like if you dig into, you know, atheists who donated to Atheist Republic, you, you're going to probably find, I don't know, both Zionists and pro-Palestinian activists who some people might consider to be associated with terrorist group like if you want to make the connect the dots it's easy to always connect any organization with any other organization right so again these need to be for us to see if this is legitimate or not these need to be a lot better defined right so but i feel like a lot of people too much jump jump on supporting or condemning stuff like this based on the tribe that they belong to regardless of what the details are so what do they mean by ties exactly here? Um, let me find the quote in this article. Give me a second. I want to also then eventually go to Yuval's comment because Yuval is like from, he's an Israeli. So I want to see, he's in the live chat on Facebook. I want to see what he has to say. Uh, go ahead and um, react okay. to Yuval's comments while I find my exact quote in my notes. All right, so you will, sorry, I'm putting too much pressure on Susanna by asking for more details, even though like <laughs> no, okay, it's don't, fine, don't, it's fine. I just have to like search through the paragraph. I'm sorry, but yeah, sorry, I'm demanding too much. You were saying the question is whether the organizations advocate for. Can I say that on YouTube? You will because that's like a genocidal. That's a genocidal phrase. Like I don't know if people know this. Okay, YouTube, I'm not advocating for this. Okay, I'm. You know, I'm very pro the nation state of Israel existing. Okay, so organizations advocate for the for, from the river to the sea. It means they advocate that Israel will cease to be. Um, you will. I know. I met some people who use the phrase "from the river to the sea," and I asked them if they know what that means, and I and they didn't know what it means. Right. So I understand when I was that that's like a militant lefty. I didn't know that. And you used it, right? I probably did. Yeah. I don't so remember. yeah, I understand that the f the phrase from the river to the sea has like genocidal um, suggestions in that, but not everybody who uses that knows what it actually means, right? So, so there's that. Like, I don't want to accuse everybody who's using that as being genocidal. Um, you were also saying another question is where did the where do their money goes? Yeah. Uh, here's another problem. There is genuine need for donations to Palestinians in Gaza Strip. But I could almost guarantee you that if you donate to Palestinians in Gaza Strip, even the best charities that try as much as they can to make sure that this does not benefit Hamas in any way or any other terror group in that region, some of it will benefit them. I mean, it's just entering in that economy, right? So it's like trying to help people in Yemen. Like some of this money will, will help go the in, into the Houthi ecosystem. It just yeah, will. So okay, somebody is like spamming the live chat. Make sure, like, I'm gonna put you on timeout if you continue doing it. Um, yeah, but yeah, like cool it down a little bit. Um, but yeah, if so, t I mean, at some point you still have to donate to charity, even with the understanding that the small percentage of it is going to go into the wrong hands. You cannot like shut down every single. So again, this is not a black and white. This is not like, oh, your money went to Hamas. Therefore you sh you're basically supporting terrorists. Right. Or, you know, or like. 
or none of your money goes to Amos and you're not, right? It's basically to the degree in which you're associated, you're trying, because there are charities that are not even supposed to be charities. They're like front groups, like they're like a, for Hamas, you know, they're like, they're like a fake charity. They're just raising money for terrorist groups. So you have those, and then you have other charities that their main goal is to help actually Palestinians who need help. But unfortunately, there's no way to guarantee that none of it is going to end up helping Hamas in some way, right? I mean, like, <laughs> even if you buy, I don't know, I don't want to give some examples, right? Um, yeah, I mean, whatever is, yeah, okay. No, I'm not going to give you an example because people are going to think that I'm saying something that I'm not. But we still need to give to those charities, right? You still need to help those charities. So again, it's, it's a spectrum. It's not that black and white. But what, what are you saying, Susanna? So I was looking for this direct quote from uh, Euro News or just Europe One saying, so one of these groups, quote, this group is a descendant of the collective uh, Ku Por Ku 31, which had supported the PFL Palestine, considered a Palestinian terrorist organization by the European Union. Uh, the Palestine Action Committee is also targeted. The association supposed to defend the rights of Palestinian and fax relays press releases from Hamas, the Islamic Jihad, in, in Palestine and Hezbollah and reports on their actions according to the authority. So they're basically accusing this organization of being relaying, like being a mouthpiece of this organization. That's how I'm interpreting that. There, the ministry is therefore considering its dissolution for incitement to hatred, violence, or discrimination and provocation to terrorist acts. Um, okay. Yeah. So um, the government again, is accusing them of being a front group, and they are in fact right. saying this is an attack on our civil liberties, and this is an attack on our free expression. So you were saying, yeah, the question is if they're a front group, right? So it's not like you can't say like whether they have ties to the because ties is such a vague term. Everybody has ties to everybody else, right? So yeah, exactly. You will is the the question is like whether these these are front groups for terrorist groups, and I think our position. I think Susanna, let me know if you agree. Our, the responsible position for us to have is that we don't know if these accusations are correct or not, okay? Yes, I so agree. You can't, yeah, okay. I don't have so access we, to, you know, reading investigative journalism into this issue, issue in French. French. Yeah. <laughs> so I, think I can the, do a little most, bit on Google Translate, but... Eh. Yeah. So I think, yeah, the most intellectually honest position is to be like, yeah, we don't know if we support this or we don't, okay? Because the accusation could be accurate. Um, or they could not be accurate, right? But do so. you think that this is a, a concerning attack on France's own values that made it the great country that it is? Oh, yeah, it should be concerning because it could potentially be violating people's free speech. We don't know if it is or not because we don't know how accurate these accusations are and how to what extent the ties are to these terrorist groups. But because we don't know, and it could potentially be so, be one of that, then we do have to be concerned. You don't have to have full out knowledge to be concerned, okay? Mm -hmm. You could be concerned just because it's a possibility. I'm also curious about what processes of like due process there are when the government says like, we're demanding the dissolution of your group because of these allegations against you. That's very important as well. Yeah. Yeah. But I yeah, that's being, mainly why I wanted to being... talk about it because that was like the, less for the religious aspects and more because you know of the values that we like to support here. Yeah, I think I think we're doing a good job at demonstrating of how to not be tribal about these things, right? I think that we do. Our channel does a good job at that to just not just quickly just take a side, right? Well, I was I'm just trying to... to lay the trap for you to expose your Zionist ways. <laughs> <laughs> I am a Zionist, so there's that. Um, okay. It cool. doesn't very. It doesn't work very well when you just come forward and say it, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> I am the worst Zionist ever because, like, people like people say, like, Army says he's a Zionist, and then he keeps accusing Israel of committing war crimes, and like, <laughs> like, what kind of a Zionist are you? <laughs> the best Zionist. okay um you're also not okay. very good at uh sucking up to your your future wannabe boss when you come forward and 
you know, tell the whole internet that you want to work for Mossad, I think that greatly lowers your chances of succeeding in that goal. <laughs> I make up for it for being having so much influence in the Iranian community. I think that that's an asset that I have that Mossad cannot ignore, right? So even though I criticize, <laughs> even though I criticize Israel a lot, I have too much to offer. I have too much to offer. Yes, exactly. Random Mossad hire him already. Yeah. I need to make you a t-shirt that says <laughs> Musad hire me. Yes. Can you buy me a t-shirt that says Musad hire me? <laughs> Atheist Republic needs your help. We've been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Ababi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.